In this video, we're going to focus on how we can adjust the width of the legend color boxes. As you can see here, this color box here is far smaller than the original shape of it. And of course, what we will also explore is how we can use the point style to give maybe a different shape as well. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's start to explore how to adjust the width of the legend color box in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to get, of course, our default code, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link here, which you can also find in the description box. Scroll down and just copy this entire chunk of code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. Put it in there and then I'll just cut out this title here. Put it in there. Save that. Refresh. And there we are. So now we have basically this, but this question was specifically for a donut chart. So I'm going to convert this into a donut chart. Make this is a donut chart. The moment I do that, I need to remove these scales as well, because you can see it will keep on, keep the scales and reduce the size of it. So I'm going to see the scales here. Just remove them. There we are. Next, what I want to do is I want to reduce the size by here. Say here, uh, 500 pixels would be sufficient. Save that, refresh. All right. So now what I want to do is the following. I'm going to play around a little bit with the aesthetics. I want to reduce these uh, donut ring size. So I'm going to say you cut out, let's do 90% here. This is a string value, save, refresh. All right, that looks better. Let's move now this legend first to the left side. To do that, what we're going to do here is we're going to say here, plugins, and we're going to say here, legend. And then within the legend, now we can say here, the following, we can just say, for example, here, position. And then this is a string value, left, save that, refresh. So now we have this, but of course, what happens is that this is becoming far too big. We can even push it up or down, it's up to you. Uh, how to do that? Come out, just say, yeah, align, and then we're going to say here, start, for example, to push it up. There we are. By default, it is set on center, and of course, if you want to put it down, we can say here, start, and this will be end. Not bottom, but end. There we are. But of course, I will comment this out, put it back to the original state in the center. So now let's reduce the size here. To do that, we're not going to do it uh, only in the legend, but we need to pinpoint it specifically in the labels of the legend. And within here, we can say, for example, this here, the color box, is referred to, to the box width, which is 40 pixels by default. So we're going to say box width, and let's make this very narrow, five pixels only. If I save this, refresh, you can see here, now we can control this. However, for me personally, maybe this is a very nice one, but if you don't like this, I would recommend you to explore the point style, which is probably a bit more nicer, because you can make this, for example, rounded, which you can make, you know, it's like in a similar team. So what I mean by that is, well, let me show you, in the labels, instead of the box width, because the box width will only work on the box here, but if we're going to use our point style, it will have a different shape. So, and then this box width is not possible. So I'm going to say here, use point style, and we'll say here, this is true. And then I'm going to say here, the point style that I want to use, so we need to specify it, and this could be anything. By default, by the way, it is a circle. If I save that, refresh, you can see here now it's a circle, and which is quite nice, nice with this especially if I would do some adjustments here, but we can do uh, the following. If you want a rectangle, you can do a rectangle here. There you are, you can get all of these shapes, star, and maybe triangle. All right, so while this is all nice, I'll just put it back to the original state, which is circle. This is a default state, so it's not even necessary to specify. But what I want to do then is to make this a bit more rounded. That's something that's perfect personal preference. So I would say here, we're going to say here, uh, border radius. And let's say 20 pixels. If I do this, you get this nice rounded effect, but you might notice that this here is just hitting each other or it's so attached to each other, you want to have it slightly uh, offset. So I'm going to say offset. So some space between there, let's say five pixels, save. There we are. So now we have a bit of space that looks absolutely phenomenal. And that's basically, how you can play around with it. You can play around with it with the point style or use the box width item here. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe, maybe you want to 
uh, make the, the legend slightly different. For example, if you have two donut rings, you want to only specify that specific donut ring. And then there should be only two items instead of seven. So for that, I have here another video that's a, of interest, or that might be of interest, which is about how to create a custom legend for the donut that shows and hides the data sets instead of what we do here, because the default here for only for the donut and the pie chart is it shows here the data point instead of the data set. So this one here shows you exactly how to create a legend or the data sets in a pie or donut chart.